Good morning. My name is Tabisha Dominique. The time is now 4.15. I'm in Georgia, so I don't know where you're listening. But you are now tuned in to Going Hard for Jesus. And I've been getting up at around 3 o'clock for no reason. So... Today, I thought that maybe getting up at this time, I needed to log on. Possibly a message that somebody needed to hear. Because this is around the time that before I was going hard for Jesus, I would have been up getting high. Somebody might be up. They might see us on YouTube. And they just might be getting high. Or thinking about getting high. Or coming down off a high. And so, glory be to God. I tuned on to let you know that you got options. If you are a willing heart and you're tired of the place that you're in, you have options. There is a friend in Jesus. If you just happen to be out there in the land, This episode is titled, Because We Up. Have you ever took a minute to think about why you started to drink excessively or to even indulge in getting high? Have you ever took a minute to think about why? What brought you to that point? It might have even started off as a little fun. At a party. You can blame friends. I mean, we can blame people. But in reality, you have to look at the reflection in the mirror. You can't continue to point the finger. Have you ever thought about it? A lot of people are on a level to where it's not a problem. Their Philly function, you know, they're they're in a good place in their life. So, them indulging in alcohol or drugs on a level that they are on and regularly, it's not a problem to them. They've adapted to it as being a lifestyle. I know I used to look at it that way. It wasn't a problem. It was only a problem for those that weren't high. It was a lifestyle. So there was never anything to talk about because this was just me. And everybody has choices, and this is the choice that I chose. But I never thought about the fact that When that option wasn't available, my attitude changed. You never consider the true control it indeed has over you. We don't want to admit the abuse as having control over 
over who we are. If by chance, just by chance, you may become hmm, a bit on the edge or possibly a little bit upset, I have a little attitude over the fact that the vice that you're using is not available, especially if you have the money to buy it. Have you ever been in a position where you got the money to buy it, but it's just not available? This is if it ever happened to you, is the time that you may want to evaluate yourself and consider if you indeed have a problem. Depending on the way you react to having the money to purchase one of your vices, and it not be available, but you have the money for it, depending on your reaction, is a great way to evaluate yourself in terms of if you have a problem or not. Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 18, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery instead. Be filled with the Spirit. I used to get drunk on everything. Knowing that I wasn't even a drinker. I started experimenting with different types of high. I I can blame getting caught with the weed. Yeah, I can blame. I can put the jacket on somebody else if we want to do that. I used to just smoke weed. Then I got in trouble with weed. And I had to test every week for weed. So weed stay in your system too long. I couldn't do that. Why couldn't I just take a break? Why couldn't I just look at this as it was time for me to stop getting high? Oh, no. Not that. I didn't look at it like that. I decided to choose a different type of drug that got out your system just a little faster. It didn't give me the same high as the weed, but the whole point of the matter was just being high. Meaning out of yourself. Why? Why do you think we choose that option? Could it be possible that you don't like yourself? Could it be possible that you're not happy with the skin you're in? Hmm. Something for us to ponder on. If you just so happen to be up and high or thinking about high, getting high or just up thinking about doing something else that maybe 
not so positive. It's time that we look at these fake images that we've adopted for ourselves. And see if we can really survive being ourselves. Can you really take the time to get to know yourself? Or are you going to continue... To be in this world with the gift of breath under the fake image of whatever personality comes out after you get that artificial stimulant or that drink or you put on that, that outfit. That you need to be noticed. Well, go on hard for Jesus. It's here to let you know that as long as you have the gift of breath, you got options. You don't have to be in the fake skin that you're in. You don't have to have regrets over decisions you might have made being responsible for anybody else in your own life. The pressures of life. The stress you may be under, the heartbreak, the denial that you may be dealing with, the many faces that we have to wear in order to survive. Sometimes you have to take on a different character. in order to live up to the expectations that the world has for us or that we've created for ourselves or the people that we have in our lives. There's so many explanations for what we may have going on that may not be healthy for us. I had so many explanations. I could give you so many stories. And at the end of each story, I can tell you another story to let you know that the things I was doing really didn't have too much to do with me. It was just the card that I was dealt with everything that's going on in this world and with this life, this is how it had to be. But that was a lie. There's still many things going on in the world. It's still various options. People are still doing what they want to do. A lot of people are still functioning very well, getting high and happy with their lifestyle. But it didn't bring forth a lot of happiness for me. It was still a temporary fix. And you know, I could never get enough. I had to make sure that I had some available Because I was getting, I was coming up short. Like if I'm running out, 
then I got to make sure I still got some for next time. 